Okay, here we are. Right, space engineers with Aracross. So what have I been doing? Well, I built this little ship, a little world, um, when I was working on stuff. I built this space station in survival mode. Built it up with solar panels, um, obviously, over there, refineries and stuff. And then underneath, a buttload of batteries and tubing and so forth. Neat. Now, I've done this rather well, large tower for my miner to dock to. 7x7 seven seven squares allows me to uh, mine. The interesting thing is, I did it all within the 7x7 seven seven square, so I can literally burn through one side of an asteroid to another. That was when I was in survival mode. Um, but I was building a ship, it's taking a while, and uh, I needed uh, more minerals and to do it faster, otherwise, I'd be here forever. So I switched to creative mode while I work on this. Yeah, it's big. It is the Starship or the Battleship, or at least Battlestar Galactica. Uh, this front panel here is the start of the heat shield which is underneath. This is the living quarters, obviously still need to add all the lights and all the gubbins that make it worthwhile. Um, this is the front part of the Galactica, as you can probably tell. It's rather large. This pole goes up and down there, that's my plumb line. Tells me which bit of the ship is in the middle, so I can make sure things are symmetrical. Um, to tell you the truth, it takes hours doing this. This is not a little piddly ship, it is huge. Um, at the moment, what you're looking at is approximately one half of the ship. I need to literally double its length, because I'm missing the entire engine section and all the rest of it. And obviously, the pods that go down here for the... Um, fighters and docking bays. I don't think you're going to be able to fly this ship, not unless you've got no asteroids, because this ship will be so big, you will fly through an asteroid before realising it. Um, I am making the ship heavily armoured, so you will be able to blast the crap out of it. I will release it on Steam uh, as a blueprint with no fittings whatsoever first, so that the hardcore fans can build it out themselves, and then later um, I will then add all the engines and gubbins and, and the guns and all that sort of stuff and blinky lights and I'll release that as version 2. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. That's why I've not been around. Um, it is a huge, huge, huge ship by any means and it takes hours, just hours and hours and hours, literally throw the key away. And that's where I am. That's where I'm at. And uh, when it's done, <laughs> God help you, but uh, it will be... <laughs> if anyone comes in the multiplayer, it's actually, you know, that's a 1v1 ship fight. Run. <laughs> this thing will kick your ass. It, it is um, thick. I'm, I'm making it... Uh, what's the word? I'm using, in places, light armor blocks, because it uh, looks better, matches the original better. But it can be, in places, there's six or seven armor blocks deep and thick. It, it's heavily armoured, it's not just a, a, a lightweight paper toy. And that's it, that's uh, where I am at the moment. I'm going to upload this now to YouTube, I'll try and keep it short, and stop me loading megabytes and megabytes. And uh, yeah, I will release this when it's done, but uh, it's going to be a big ship. <laughs> you know, so when I built a ship, it was like 8 million tons. Forget that, like, this thing is like already 100. 60 million. It, it's massive. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a huge, huge ship. There we are. This is Anacross, and uh, yeah, have fun, people. <laughs>